Okay, we have an exciting shootout today between two of the titans of the solar generator industry, EcoFlow and Bluetti. And what's representing them is their small units, but they are the latest technology that they have. And these units have bigger brothers as well, bigger siblings in the same line. So if this doesn't apply to you, then you can get the higher powered units. But everything I say will hold true to some effect. So it'll help you make a decision. We're gonna spend some time, have a 10 round shootout. I really understand these devices now and I have so much insight that really surprised me with all my measuring tools. Stats are not everything and there's 10 categories that you should know about that will help you make a decision on these units. Okay, round one is the basic specs of these guys. So this is the EcoFlow River 2, the smallest one in the family and here it has 256 watt hours of storage. This one has 268 watt hours, an odd number indeed, right? And this supports 300 watts of continuous power and this claims to support 600 watts of continuous power in this little package. Now this also has 600 watts, but with something called X-Boost technology where they, they lower the voltage to get your appliance working. Now we're gonna test whether this is a true 600 watts or they do some kind of voltage lowering technology as well. Okay, round two of the shootout is the price. It's a little complicated because it's very hard to get the retail price of these devices. They're always on sale. But as of right now, uh, on this website, 239 for the Bluetti and 239 for the EcoFlow on their own websites. You know, fluctuation is so varied. I think the retail is about 320 for, for each one, but the, the, the sales are rampant. Uh, so let's just say they're, they're under 250 bucks uh, constantly. Okay, round three is the size and weight of these units and the build quality. The Bluetti right here is a 10.1 pound unit and the EcoFlow is 7.7, .7, so quite a bit lighter for, for this guy. And this is about 25% smaller than this one. So both of them have a flat top, but this is pretty compact. Uh, in fact, uh, you'll see at the top, it's just so much smaller, but with the carrying, ca carrying handle, the, you know, it, it gives it a little bit of size. This one has a folding handle, so not as convenient to, to tote around. It's like, this thing is like a tote bag. <laughs> it, it's just a very smart industrial design, this EcoFlow. As far as ports, this thing has eight ports, while this thing has six ports, so a little more here. And as far as charging and input, this one has inputs in the front, and this one has inputs in the back. What is the capacity? Uh, of these things. Specs are one thing, 256, 268, but in the real world, what is it really? And I did spend a lot of time testing this with a couple devices. So there's two capacities really. One is the AC, probably the most important one is the AC, and then the DC. So on the AC, I ran it with a 200 watt load, and on the EcoFlow, I got 193 watt hours um, and until it shut down. So it's a fairly high load, the fan was going. 193 is the best I got. And on this Bluetti, the output I got was 215. So quite a bit more. And really it has to be in proportion to what they claim, right? And in this case, it's 75% 70, of what they claim. And in the face of Bluetti, it's 80% of what they claim. Okay, the next test, this one is a little harder to do because the, the DC output of these guys is not very strong. It's about 100 watts. So I use this device and I'll show this to you in action. It calculates to you in real time uh, and cumulative what the output is. And on the EcoFlow, I got an output of 204 watt hours. On the Bluetti, I got an output of 206 watt hours, so a little bit better, right? But it's all about percentage, you know, percentage to claims. Uh, in the EcoFlow, it got 
80% of what they claimed. So pretty good, yeah, quite an improvement. And over here on the Blue Eddy, it got 77% of what they claimed. Okay, the next test is the charging, the all important charging. So the first thing I'll say is these are so amazing because they don't have the charging adapter bricks anymore. You know, they're usually two to four pound units that you have to carry around with wires and whatnot just to charge them. So really, uh, in a lot of my chargers, you have to add that to the system weight because those things are big and heavy and you can't be forgetting them. This thing, all it needs is a standard standard plug, three, you know, uh, three prong plug put in the back. So to charge this from zero, dead zero to 100%, it took 59 minutes, 59 minutes. That's the fastest I've ever seen on any unit that I've used. And then on the Blue Eddy, I saw one hour, 18 minutes. Okay, next I have a very interesting stat. I, don't, I haven't seen it done before, which is how much watt hours did it take to charge the capacity of this unit? So this is 256, right? It took 315 watt hours to get it to 256. So that's an efficiency of 81%, you know? The other, the other 19%, it just, it just disappeared. And that's, a, that's the nature of adapters uh, and, and charging batteries. This unit, on the other hand, it took 299 watt hours to charge the 268 watt hours. So that's an efficiency of 90%. So this was more efficient with your house current. A couple more notes to mention, both of them are very advanced because they support something called pass-through charging. Meaning, when you're charging, it will, it will charge this unit, but you can use it as well. And it doesn't slow down the charging. You know, it will take 300 watts for the unit, and then it will, it will, it will flush, it will supply, I don't know, whatever, 400, 500 watts to whatever device you have. And one more detail, this unit, the EcoFlow, supports USB charging, meaning you can charge it with this USB port. You know, just pour in some 60 watts in here and this will charge. And there's a lot of sources for USB uh, power. This one, it doesn't. It doesn't support USB charging, USB-C charging whatsoever. Right. Before I get into some other details, let me get to the wattage testing. Wattage testing is cool uh, because this one claims 300 watts and this one claims 600 watts, meaning what kind of devices can you run with these units? This is a heat gun, not a hair dryer. Don't make that mistake. So it has low and high. On high, they both shut down. It's a 700 watts demand. So this is a 300 watt demand. So there you go, heat gun, and it is coming at us at 297 watts. And then we have another unit here, which is a powerful drill point over there don't burn anything and then so there's going to be 600 watts so now we're going to try the blue eddy three hundred and change and then we get this kind of thing going. At full power, this thing goes a lot harder, 120 volts. But when the, when the, when the heater is going, It goes at about 80% uh, at 550 watts. And then I measure the voltage output and it's only, it goes from 120 volts to about 109 volts. So it drops voltage. So it's not a true 600 watts, uh, this unit, but it, this is stronger than this unit. Okay, some other key details, the display. The display is all important in these units because they tell you what's going on with the system, how much you're drawing in, how much you're putting out and great displays on both. They have some animation and they're both smart displays. Smart displays means it tells you how long it's gonna take to drain this battery at your current run rate and how long it takes to charge this at your current run rate. So it's a very, it, it makes real-time calculations and both of them do this very well. 
Now, something that's very important to note is this display turns off every 30 seconds, and there's no way around it. This one has, doesn't have that, but the most important thing is the displays are configurable. Uh, you, could, you could set it to time out in 30 seconds, five minutes, 30 minutes, or never. Uh, so just for that reason, I would, I would get this unit. You know, the fact that I have to press a button every time I want to see the, the display, which is so key, it's just a pain in there. All right, next category is noise. Which one is noisier? This one is a little louder than this, but the key with the EcoFlow is it has a variable fan. It, it, it only turns on to the amount that it needs. So it'll whisp, the fan will whisper every once in a while, and then if it really needs it, it'll boost. This one seems to only have one speed of fan. Uh, at least that's what I can detect. So this is definitely quieter than this unit. All right, app. Who would have thunk, huh? These things have an iPhone app, and both of them have incredible apps because these apps are what's used on their $5,000 units and their $1,000 units. So uh, this, the app on the EcoFlow is just a hair better than there. It has a lot more configuration. So um, a lot more options on the EcoFlow app uh, than here. And the other quality of the EcoFlow app is they both work on Bluetooth, but this also work on, on Wi-Fi, meaning you don't have to be that close to the unit to control it. Okay, the last category is the extras. The all important extras. Thank you for sticking this far. After this, I'll give you my conclusions on which one is, is the right one to buy. So the extras on this, so this has the, this the, the, nice, the, the nice handle, uh, but this one has wireless charging on top. So you put your phone, your your AirPod case right here, and it'll start charging, so that's cool. This one doesn't have that. And this one has a light. So the light is like, I can, can illuminate a room, maybe if you're camping, uh, maybe there's a power outage. So this one has a light right here. It's more of a, more of a spotlight. It, it, is, it would be nicer to have an ambient light, but this one is pretty good. It's pretty bright. Which one, sh which one so. should you get? If you need more ports, this one, if you need to, to stick this into a, uh, a little shelf, a little cubby in your RV, this one maybe because the front, front loading. If you need the wireless charging and the, and the light, this one definitely has that. If you need more configurability, uh, you're looking for a nice form factor, uh, something you can tote around, uh, definitely this is a good choice. Ultimate compactness, this one for sure, something to carry around. Uh, it's just a smart design, no need for cover. Uh, here, it's just simple to use. Uh, the display is always on. So this one is more usable, uh, in my opinion, but this one has a little more capacity, uh, both in watt hours, in wattage, uh, in your, your wireless charging and whatnot. So you can't go wrong with the Blue Eddy either. And like I said, you could step up in the, the, the power levels of these units and you sh everything I said should apply as well. So hope you found that helpful. Thanks a ton.